We're happy to have back with us on Oncology.tv, Dr. Elon Kersen, Chief Science Officer for NovoCure. Thanks for being back, sir. Thank you very much. So you've got some exciting news to share. Let's talk about the Novo TTF tumor treating fields just for everybody's sure. benefit. What's a quick background of this? Okay, so uh, NovoCure is a global oncology company that has developed a novel therapy to treat recurrent glioblastoma brain tumors, an extremely deadly uh, type of brain tumor. The company has developed Novo TTF therapy, which is a portable home use device to treat cancer. Uh, it just doesn't allow the cells to divide by, uh, it doesn't allow the cells to divide by uh, interrupting the normal mitotic process uh, in cancer cells. Novo TTF therapy is FDA approved. Uh, it's being used today at 130 uh, academic centers throughout the country to treat recurrent glioblastoma uh, patients. And the PRIDE registry data set, which uh, was accepted as an abstract to ASCO this year, describes the experience of the first 457 patients treated within the prescription program in the United States and analyze the results, the real life experience uh, that these patients had using Novo TTF therapy. Pretty massive undertaking and, and pretty positive results that you're excited about. Oh yes, they're very exciting. I think one of the most impressive uh, things is that in real life use we often see that uh, therapies perf don't perform as well as they did in clinical testing. Uh, clinical trials tend to be a more uh, highly selected group of patients. And so in real life setting, usually therapies perform worse than they did in the testing. We find that in real life use of Novo TTF therapy, patients are living longer than they did in the clinical trial. In fact, the median overall survival in the PRIDE registry is 9.6 months compared to 6.6 .6 months in the clinical trial for Novo TTF therapy. So what do you attribute that to? Well, there are multiple factors. First of all, we don't know exactly. Uh, I think it's proper patient selection. It's the fact that the device is being used in the right patients. It's being used a little bit earlier in the recurrent state of the disease. So instead of waiting till the last resort, it's being used one step earlier. And uh, I think most of it comes out of that. Uh, we also know that patient compliance with therapy is critical for outcome. And uh, patients use the device for more than 18 hours a day on average actually have a significantly longer survival than patients who use it less than 18 hours a day. And this was seen in the pivotal clinical trial which led to the device approval, but it also came out in the registry data set with a very similar finding. So where do you go next, build on this excitement that you have? Well, we have ongoing uh, clinical trials to move the device even further uh, up front. And we're testing the Novo TTF therapy in newly diagnosed glioblastoma patients, so not at recurrence, but in newly diagnosed setting. Uh, this is an ongoing randomized clinical trial which will recruit 700 patients at 86 centers worldwide. And uh, this trial is gonna finish enrolling patients this year. Uh, and we're, very, we're gonna be very uh, uh, excited to see the results of this trial uh, over the next couple of years. We'll come back then and, and keep us updated, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks very much for joining us and best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay.